get ready for the easiest classroom management strategy ever. All you need are two things, an Expo marker and a whiteboard. All right, let's go. All right, with your Expo marker and your whiteboard, this is all you're gonna do. Somewhere on your whiteboard, you're going to designate the place where you're going to keep track of your student's time working toward 15 minutes. So I usually would put just a little corner with zero, zero, zero. They have zero seconds right now at the beginning of the school year, whenever you start to implement this with your students. And over time, students start to acquire seconds towards their time. So for example, I tell my students, if you all turn in your homework, guess what? Five seconds. And I just change the thing to say five. If everybody gets to the next assignment and activity that they need to do in 30 seconds, countdown timer, all right, everybody's good to go. Five more seconds towards their time. And it goes up and up and up over time. The key with this is you wanna make sure that you are giving out seconds like candy on Halloween. You want students to want to get them and to see immediate rewards for them. So I will use this for anything in my classroom, whether it's students turning in homework, everybody completing the bell ringers on time, everyone coming in from class the way that they're supposed to, whatever activity or thing that I want them to do, I'm gonna give them seconds towards their time. But some seconds are gonna be worth more than others. So for example, if we're going to an assembly and I wanna make sure that my students are well behaved, they don't have any issues, no behavior problems, I give them the guidelines. Hey, if you can do X, Y, and Z, or we talk about it as a class and we set the expectations for ourselves and we write them on the board, and I say, if everybody can do this for our assembly, I'm gonna give the whole class 45 seconds towards our time. And so anything that you want them to do, you can decide how much weight you are going to give that particular activity. It's also great to use with substitutes as well because you can tell your students, hey, if I get a great report from the sub, when I come back tomorrow, I'm gonna give you a minute and a half towards your time. And I'm telling you, it works for a multitude of reasons, but just give it a shot and see how it goes in your classroom and definitely let me know what you think about it. There are a few other things that you wanna make note of with this particular classroom management strategy. And that is that students, once they get to 15 minutes, they get some sort of whole class reward. They can vote on it, you can decide and you know give the suggestions to them and they can vote on it however you wanna set it up. But there has to be some sort of a reward that happens at the end of a specified period of time. So I always did this by every marking period. So every semester, trimester, or quarter, depending on what your school year is, or you could even do it based on each month. Um, but whatever it is, you wanna make sure that as you're giving out seconds, you start to be aware of, oh, we're getting a little too close to the 15 minutes, or you know, I still have to make up a lot of time with my students, so you might give them more than they usually would, et cetera. So it'll take some time to finesse over time, but it works so well because students help keep each other accountable. And then you're also able to set clear expectations for them and an immediate reward that they can physically see increasing. I've seen other similar classroom management strategies where students maybe, you know, get rewarded by a handful of beads or something like that. But with this particular classroom management strategy, students can tangibly see the seconds going up. So it's really easy to measure and they know how much time they have left. So what you'll notice is as you get to the end, as you get closer to 15 minutes, students will be like, hey guys, hey, hey, we only, we have one more minute left to get, like, let's get it together, right? And so it becomes this really cool team effort where students are holding each other accountable. You can very clearly set expectations. It's easy for you to keep track of. You don't have all this crazy stuff you've got to keep track of. You could even designate a student in your class to be the one to add the seconds to the board. That's something I've done over the years and the kids love having that particular responsibility. So it's something as simple as, hey, Charlie, whole class, get five seconds, add it to the board. And they just add it for you and they keep track of it for you. And it becomes really cool. Like if you have different class periods, you can also designate different names where students are competing against each other. Class periods, I've done that with my high school students. So it's a great classroom management strategy. It's super simple to use, implement, and it's extremely, extremely effective key things to take away from here. You need a whiteboard, an expo marker, and you also need to make sure that you are doling out those seconds like candy so that they actually see immediate impact from their positive behavior. All right, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more middle school English tips like this.